In the real world of results, things are never equal. Okay, there can't be X amount of things that need to be done of equal importance. There's always one thing that's the most important. And high achievers, okay, if you want to become successful, they okay, have a clear sense and work from a clear sense of priority. Okay, they find that one thing that's the most important and they let that drive their days versus everything drive their days. Okay? And realize too that things that are the most important are not necessarily the things that scream the loudest or that are urgent. And it's key to understand that success is not a game that's won by whoever does the most. Okay, we tend to assume that the person who's the busiest, the most active, uh, who puts in the most effort, that you say is the person who will become the most successful, wrong. Okay, you probably heard of the 80-20 principle, which asserts that a minority of causes, inputs, or efforts usually lead to a majority of results, outputs, or rewards. And the idea here is that big success comes when you do a few things well versus dabbling around, getting lost, trying to do too much, and in the end, accomplishing too little. For some reason, there is the fear that big success brings crushing pressure and uh, stress. It's like, oh my God, these big goals are so scary, and uh, we believe it's bad. Okay, but that there is also a lie. If you fear big success, you'll either avoid it or you'll sabotage your efforts to achieve it. Okay? And thinking big is essential to extraordinary results. Uh, what you do in the time you work determines what you achieve. And since what you do is determined by what you think, how big you think becomes the launching pad for how high you achieve. Again, don't fear big. Okay? Fear mediocrity, fear waste, fear you know, the lack of living to the fullest. That's what you should fear, not big. Okay? You must be open to the possibility that your life and what you want to accomplish can become great. Okay? It's like you either have the belief that you are destined for success or you're doomed to failure. And achievement and abundance show up because they're the natural outcomes of doing the right things with no limits attached. And getting extraordinary results is all about creating a domino effect in your life. Okay? It's you doing the right thing and doing the next right thing, and over time it adds up. It's not like this miracle, I do the right thing once and I make it. It's extraordinary success is sequential, not simultaneous. Okay, so the way you should go about it is ask yourself, what's the one thing I want to do someday? And then get more and more specific to the present moment. Okay? Based on my daily goal, what's the one thing I can do right now? What can you do right now? Even you watching this video, what's the one thing you can do right now? Okay, you should know. Boil it down to that one thing and then do it and then build the next one, the next one, and start getting in that domino effect.